The views and opinions expressed on this program are those of the participants and do not reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. BronxNet. Your voice, your views, your vision. And good morning, everybody, and welcome to another show. It's a beautiful show. It's called Open, the one and only show that opens up the Bronx and the world to you. I'm your host, the Dr. Bob Lee from 107.5 WBLS. We have a fantastic show in store for you today. Coming up on today's show, we'll take a good look at One, one, one Bronx Business, what they're doing to encourage our youth to follow their dreams. Got to see what she has. Stay tuned. All this and more is headed your way because we are now open. Welcome back, everybody. Yeah, hey, you know, on July 26th, uh, the Nevermore store and Prodigy 6 will host an event, Fight for Your Dreams. That's what it's called, Fight for Your Dreams. Nothing wrong with it. And joining us now to share more is Raven Cardona, owner of the Nevermore store, and Mosaic Blanc, author and co-founder of Prodigy 6. We welcome you guys to the show. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. All right. So you guys have been doing this for how long? Wow. Well, Prodigy 6 has been here since 2010, and um, what we do, we do everything from art entertainment, from books, uh, business cards, graphic tees, custom shoes, um, when I mean shoes, custom Converse, and film. Oh, get out of here. I used to wear those. Chuck Norris. There you go. Yeah. 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 Chuck, I had the different colors, too. <laughs> I used to, yeah, the black ones, the white ones, I even had yeah. a pair of red ones. Now we actually, you know, they gave... They came back, huh? Yeah. And, and then you had a little art to it. Exactly. Yeah. We actually give our customers the chance to put whatever image they want. Put your face on if you want to. Yeah, you know? yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Take the basketball symbol out of the, what's it, inside the star? Yeah. You got a converse in there, you take put your exactly. picture in there. But oh. now we also do film work as well, and mm -hmm. um, we work with... Uh, and upcoming, up, upcoming directors, Pratt, Hannah. We also uh, are going to do a comic book trailer uh, with mm -hmm. Roy Gonzalez. And we also have dance performance who's going to take place within the film, um, such as uh, Heavenly mm -hmm. Secret Entertainment. Well, you guys have a lot going on. I mean, how did you mix Prodigy <laughs> and the Nevermore store together? How did you guys come together? Because, you know, it's a, good thing <clears throat> it's a good thing when you find, like, harmony and people yeah. to work with in your life. You know, you can really excel. And if the harmony works, woo! Well, I, <laughs> harmony is harmony. I, I, would, I would say the way we came together was um, we both had one goal in mind. And we noticed that a lot of young people, not just young people, but mm -hmm. of all ages, and um, they want to have their own dreams and want to become their own boss. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we said, you know what? Why don't we have this event, partner up, and start giving back to the community to have people to actually, you know, become their own boss, inspire them to live their dreams. Even mm -hmm. if you fail, it, failure is just a main ingredient yeah. towards success. Mm -hmm. And, and you learn, you learn from that. Yeah. I mean, you gotta feel it. I mean, if you never felt failure and you fail, you can probably flip out. But failure if you had a few failures, you're gonna get a whole lot of no's before you get the yeses. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes if you get that yes, you won't know what the failure feels like and it gets kind of crazy. Anyway, Raven, yes. how did you start your business? The Nevermore store has actually been around since 2007. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we represent anyone that's into the hard rock, heavy metal scene. Uh -huh. And in the Bronx, you know, being that it's the birthplace of hip hop, you don't really see that a lot. But there's a huge market out there. And this place yeah. of hip-hop. I got yeah. you, though. Yeah, yeah. No, it's okay. It's okay. No, but uh, there's a huge market for it, especially uh -huh. here. So I opened up the store, and in opening up the store, I met a lot of young people that were excited about it, and they like to hang out in the store. And, they, you know, so I just basically tried to, uh, you know, grow that scene a little bit here in the Bronx since it's, like, closed off in Manhattan yeah, yeah. and it closed down. So, you know, trying to keep yeah. it alive. I see your accessories. Uh, do you have these accessories in, in your store? I do. These I actually make. 
So mm -hmm. I make hair pieces, hair clips. It's a um, company uh -huh. called Cyberdoll, and um, I do it for the ravers and stuff. Uh -huh. It's really cool. But, yeah, the store, I met him. He came into the store one time, uh -huh. and um, we've just been together ever since. So now we're doing this to try to encourage the youth. What know? kind of pick do you have in your pocket? <laughs> ah. Bam! There we go. <laughs> good eyes, good eyes. <laughs> you know, well, I used to have a big old Angela Davis or Michael Jackson afro <laughs> back in the day, and they used to make it nice around. Oh, I, had the, I had all kinds of picks. Mm. <clears throat> Different colors, red, white, and blue, or, or black, green, and red, wow. and sometimes they were like switch blades. <laughs> you, you know, you see that pick that yeah. you opened? And I had a couple with the wow, first you was too. rocking it pretty yeah, hard. Yeah, I was rocking an afro back in the day. Let me see, where's that picture? Give me that picture. Pull one of, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> but I bet you can pull one of those pictures up back in the day and check it out. Should be on Facebook. Mm -hmm. But so you're doing some wonderful things, and you have something wonderful coming up on the 26th of July. Tell us about it. The 26th of July is going to be a party that we're doing. It's like a little fundraiser for us, ah. but yeah. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we want to we want to get a store together and open it up in the Bronx. So yeah. that's basically what that's about. But we want to encourage the youth, like we said. So mm. you know, let everyone know because the school system teaches you to just work and have a job. They do not teach you to become an entrepreneur. They do oh. not teach you yeah. to become your own boss. Well, so we want to let everyone know that you can, no matter where you're from, you can. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Teach you economics. To give and everyone mm -hmm. an insight, um, inside this event, we're gonna have laser light shows. Mm -hmm. We're gonna have light up dance floors where you jump on in and shows your face and everything. Uh, we're going to have food, drinks. Uh, I'll be there signing books as well. Uh -oh. um, we're going to have the rest of the Prodigy 16 <coughs> and the Nevermore team. And uh, all of you guys will be there. Who's Hopefully. included in that Prodigy 16? Uh, we have, um, we have uh, writers. Shout them out. Okay, we have <laughs> we have Roy Gonzalez, Fasanu uh -huh. Angie, we have uh, Pratt Hanna, Muhammad Jami, we have uh -huh. Heavenly Ward, Anise Ambrose, we have Horatio Blanc, yes, same last name, that's uh -huh. my brother. All right. Um, we have... He's going to uh, love you for shouting them out. <laughs> I'm trying to shout out the whole team, but... You're going to miss a couple, if I, I understand. Yeah, they're going to kill me, but I love you all. <laughs> there you go, there you go. And who's with, with your team? Well, the, it's just me now, and huh. then uh, Miguel Maldonado. Well, you got family and friends yeah, family out. friends, yeah, that, yeah we, we have a huge support, so, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so um, what can people learn? What, what message would you like to get across to everybody checking you out? That you can fight for your dreams no matter where you're from. Just keep going. Mm -hmm. Don't be afraid to fail because that's what gets in the, in the way of anyone trying to make it. Well, I don't know if I could do that. What yeah. if I like, it doesn't work out? And so don't worry about that. If it doesn't work out, then you just try it again a different way. That's yeah. it. Just keep you going. You've got to take that leap yeah. of faith. Huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've been doing yeah. this since 2007. I had two stores that closed, and I'm still here. We still do shows. Um, we still um, support the local scene. You know, every year mm -hmm. I usually do, like, an event where we have, like, local bands playing, and it's like an all-day thing. And you bring the family, the kids, and we let them know, you know, heavy metal is mm -hmm. awesome, and we're not, like, well, you know, you got to keep going. I mean, you got to have that motivation, that mm -hmm. drive, that dream. You know, we fall down. Yes. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, get back up. We you get have up. To. And yeah. there's a song, baby. <laughs> we fall down, but we get up. <laughs> and I'm going to ask you to sing that right now in the punk rock style. No I'm oh, man. Here we go. I'm a DJ. I'm actually going to be You're a DJ, DJ also? Yes, I'm going to be DJing hey, Vince, this event. She's going to take your spot over here. <laughs> Watch your back. <laughs> As a matter of fact, you should you should go over there and sit in this chair for oh. a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh wow! So all right, what else is happening? You want to? All these things are going to take place on tour. At, everything yes. under one roof. Everything mm -hmm. under underneath one roof. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be held at a boxing ring arena, um, which hence the title "Fight for Your Dreams" as ah, well. Ah, beautiful! Um, and um, I'm also gonna. Well, I did say I will be signing books, and one of the books that I will be signing is called The Twelve Lists, Men and Women Think They Know. Mm -hmm. And we plan on doing a small film for this, so the people who's going to be there, I would definitely love to just say, hey, jump, jump aboard on this production. Well, and who, just, who are you reaching out to? What, who um, are you looking for? Um, anybody who just wants to move forward with their life. Stop l licking your life in the past. Just uh -huh. move forward. Whatever you've done back then, 
Leave well, it back then. Exactly. It won't compare to what you're about to do in the future. So with this event, it's a start to just network mm. and have fun. Beautiful, beautiful. And just so you well, know, the Nevermore store sells Comic-Con tickets. So those uh, that are you know, uh, into comics and stuff like that, uh, we'll be selling them there, let too. Let me so. find out. <laughs> <laughs> What's the address of your store? Uh, well, the, the event is going to happen at 1300 uh -huh. uh, Southern Boulevard at El Maestro Boxing Rings. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. All right. What advice before we leave? What advice do you have to aspiring business people? People want to get started. My advice from um, my personal experience is that you will make friends and you will make enemies. The thing is that don't be afraid of your enemies. There's a saying that says, keep your friends close, but keep your enemies closer. closer. You can actually learn a lot from them. And don't have any doubts in your mind. People will always say something. Just keep pushing. Keep, be, you know, remain mm -hmm. motivated and that's it. Don't stop. And if you have people who care about you and support you, just stay with these group of people and just forget about the world. Because no. in the end of the day, it's about you, not them. Right. Let your haters be your motivators. That's what I say. Let your haters be your, your motivators. Well said. <laughs> yes, yes, yo. Give them a big round of applause, everybody. Raven Cardona, owner, Nevermore Store, and Mosaic Blanc. I like that. It's like a drink, too, Blanc. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Thank you guys for uh, stopping by. Let us know more after you uh, have it all done, said and done. Maybe you can get one of the Bronx Net crews to go out and cover it, too. Well, if you have something to uh, you can send something up. All right, we've got to take a quick break right here, but coming up next, we'll find out how one group is connecting thinking and drawing. First, let's take a good look back.